Hello Panthers, it's Kyler, and welcome to my kitchen. We're high school students, therefore it's time for us to start contributing to our Thanksgiving feast. To solve this recipe, you need one can of pure pumpkin. Add to a large mixing bowl. After the pumpkin is added, you need one can of sweetened condensed milk. Then you're adding three. Um, now that that's over, you're carefully adding three eggs to your batter. Lastly, you need is pumpkin pie spice. If you don't have pumpkin pie spice, all you need is cinnamon, ginger, and nutmeg. No measurements, just measure with your heart. <laughs> the last step for our batter is that I'm gonna mix it all into one. Start off low and then work your speed up. No need to make crust when Walmart already has it. Um, I bought this pumpkin pie spice crust. Um, no need to be fancy, you know, it's, it's good. Now that your crust is completely filled up, you're gonna carefully take it to the oven and set it to 350. This is gonna bake for 40 minutes. So today we're gonna to challenge uh, Panther TV. We got Henrik and Sergio. They're gonna come out uh, with our fourth period soccer team uh, with the girls' side and uh, see what they can do. What's going on, guys? Um, today, Henrik and I are gonna be um, commentating over this monstrosity of a soccer practice we had. Look at me putting on the green jersey. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it was good. I was about to wreck all of them. This is me trying to like listen to see what I was supposed to do here. And I'm so confused. So, oh yeah, this is when we were getting is, into it. Yeah, this is when he was explaining how to open up space and stuff. And then this is where the, the magic starts. I ran into that girl on accident, man. I didn't see her because you were covering her up. No, she she was passing it to me and I just like looked at it and I was like, nope. <laughs> I was just running around at this point, just like hoping to get the ball. This is me in shock saying like, dude, they're actually good. Like they were really, really good. Like we were in shock. They were too good. Look at that. You saw that defending? Let's get a replay on that one. Yeah. This yeah, is my first go. go. <laughs> Your first go. Let's see that pass. Let's watch the pass. With the left foot. Okay. Look at this pass to you. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's watch it. Okay. He has control. He took a touch. And he missed. <laughs> <laughs> that touch was terrible. But hey. <laughs> <laughs> I scored. Dude, I was sweating. Yeah, you were basically saying like, I was this close. I was close. After viewing the footage, we have come to the conclusion that me and Sergio should stick to filming and not be on a soccer field. <laughs> Back to you, coach. Well, you can tell uh, Sergio and Enric, they haven't been uh, doing so much running. Uh, they had a little, they got to jump in and do a little scrimmage a little bit. Terrible it touches. Some bad touches. Yeah. Some little bit of touches. They got to work on their touches a little bit. Uh, then I had them jump into a simple uh, passing game. Some decent shots, you know, but we could work on a little bit of form. But they weren't too bad. They weren't too bad. They even got some goals, so that was that was pretty good too. What's up, Panthers? The 2022 midterms are coming to a close, so let's take a look at some of the key races of the selection. 
At the time of writing this, the Democratic Party has won the United States Senate. The deciding states of this race were both Nevada and Arizona, with Nevada being won by a mere 6,000 Democratic votes. All eyes are now on the House of Representatives, where numerous seats are yet to be called. Since 218 seats are needed for a majority, Republicans are up 211 compared to Democrats 204, putting Republicans in the lead. But as of Sunday 11-13, many of the districts across the West Coast are far from being called, so there is a good chance for a Democratic skew in California's districts which could decide the House majority. Looking away from the key races and results, the 2022 midterm elections show a brewing of a new American political climate. This election is one of many firsts. Massachusetts and Oregon have both elected the country's first lesbian governors, and Maryland has elected its first African American governor and third in U.S. history. In California, Democrat Alex Baliga has become the state's first Latino senator, and in Florida, Representative Maxwell Frost will be the first member of Gen Z elected into Congress. This year's midterm elections have shown the shift of a new generation in American politics, as the new generations are now becoming eligible to vote. And with all that being said, have an amazing day, Panthers. Hey Panthers, the Health Occupation Students of America, or HOSA, is hosting a food drive that's happening right now. Until November 29th, you could donate non-perishable items to any health science classroom or the front entrance. Let's go to the officers to see what they have to say. Hi, my name is Michael Urbina and I'm the president of HOSA. Hi, I'm Ana Escalante, the reporter of HOSA. HOSA is a student-led organization that helps us volunteer in the medical community. But HOSA does not only help in the medical community, we also like to reach out and do volunteer expertise among all the fields. So HOSA is holding a food drive from November 9th to November 29th and we'd really appreciate any donations that you can give out. We are accepting non-perishable goods such as cans or anything that you think would have a long expiration date that we can help out the Katy community. We are offering 10 minutes per canned item, so that can add up to 18 canned items for three hours, which is our maximum, but anything's appreciated, and we are gonna go into how we came up with this opportunity. Thank you to HSESD48 for bringing this opportunity to us to help our community. We'd actually really appreciate everybody's donation since this will be live broadcasted by the news and so we really think that this food drive could really bring some recognition towards Peito because a lot of the good that students does is unrecognized and we really appreciate y'all so thank you very much it's that time of the year again where the weather's neither too hot nor too cold and the temperature is perfect for us to be outside and enjoy the change of season and what's better than a relaxing and chill outdoor picnic with your friends or family in this fall comforting weather? All you need is some fresh baked cookies, some snacks, a cute blanket to lay down on the grass, a hot brew teapot, maybe romanticize your life with some flowers, and someone to hang out with, or just by yourself should be fine. There are so many activities you can do while basking yourself in this cool fall weather, such as reading books. Living in your own fantasy world and imagining yourself as the main character while having the time of your life in this aesthetically pleasing scenery. Tell me, what's more romantic than that? Okay, next, paintings. What's more fun than doing a switch painting challenge with your friends where you're gonna switch paintings every five minutes until you both are satisfied with the result? I promise you, there's nothing more therapeutic than this. On to the best part, pictures. Well, what's the point of creating this aesthetic picture scene when you're not going to take cute pictures in it? Come on models, show me your pose. Now, it's time to enjoy our little hard work. Munch on those cute, tasty cookies and sip on that warm cup of tea. What a perfect way to end this little outdoor getaway picnic, am I right? <laughs> <laughs>